the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. Veils, through the mist and ancient trees Runs the ghost like horse so proudly Silent as the breeze Thara, they named him Thara He's the son of the wind, strong and free Thara, they named him Thara And the king, yes, the king Following the ravages of a long, cold winter, the creatures of the high country take delight in the spring air and look forward to the coming months of warmth and abundant food. Mopok, Mopok. Emus, emus, it's good to see you out of your nest after such a long winter's rest. Oh, good to see you too, Mopok. Oh, most categorically, Mopok. Good to see you too. <laughs> Oh, good to see you too. Bah! If there were less natter, I could get another week's sleep. Oh, Wombat, just think about the new growth of food. That'll put you in a much better mood. Yeah? Well, sleep's still what I've got on me mind. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about the coming summer, Boon Boon. I feel... I feel it's going to be a season of decision. Time to assume your mantle as king of the Cascade Brumbies, perhaps? Well, perhaps. I, I don't know for sure. But there's definitely something in the air. I can feel it, as though something dramatic is about to happen. I wonder if my father, the Brolga, has the same feeling. He must realise his days are numbered. He gets older and crankier with the passing of every year. <laughs> What's that? Who's talking about me? Oh, hi, Wombat. Natter, natter, natter. And I'm not crankier than ever. I'm just as cranky as I've always been. <laughs> I promise we're not talking about you, Wombat. It's the Brolga we're on about. Oh, is that so? Old Wombat's not worth talking about, eh? <clears throat> Typical. Now, if you don't mind a bit less chatter so I can go back to me sleep and enjoy it. <laughs> 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 There he is, goody horseshoes, laughing his head off as usual, trying to impress Boon Boon. I can just imagine what he's saying. I'm going to be the king of the Cascade Brumbies soon, and all that kind of stuff. Huh. Well, that's what he thinks. I'm son of the mighty Yarraman too, and I'm older and stronger than Thara, so it's me who's born to rule, not him. <laughs> The only creature you'll ever convince is that dumb skink, Arrow. The mighty Brolger is the only true king, and he'll outlive both you and that powder puff Thaura. Just you wait and see. <laughs> I know I hit my head hard, but this is ridiculous.
Thara, what happened? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. You did say something dramatic was about to happen. Here's Benny, he'll know. Earthquake. Earth what? Earthquake. It's when there's movement deep within the ground. Very destructive and rare in these parts. At least nobody was injured, I think. Everybody okay? Yep. 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 Hey, there's a yep missing. Where's Baby Wombat? Baby Wombat? Where are you? Baby Wombat! Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Baby Wombat! Baby Wombat! No, don't panic. Keep it clear here. Baby Wombat, where are you? Are you in there? There's always a chance he's been caught in an air pocket. All we can do is dig. Dig, dig! There, boy. It's OK now. Take it easy. That was one big shake. Hasn't been one like it for decades. But I'm sure I heard a brumby in the middle of it. Over there. suppose that one of those rocks may have landed on Thaura and... Ja! Right? Ja! Ja! Help! Uh-oh. Arrow's in trouble again. Ja! Ja! You can't help here. Better see what's up. into thin air. Bobbook, Bobbook. Thaura, Arrow's been chased yet again, but at least he's learned to use his brain. What do you mean, Mopoke? Where is he? He's made his escape, you can bet, but in the process got rather wet. Wet? The waterfall? The cave behind the waterfall? That's right, you got it in one. That's where Arrow made his run. <laughs> Thanks, Mopoke. It's testimony to the size of my intellect that my brain being knocked about could cause an earthquake like that. Ah. Uh, ah! Uh. Arrow, it's all right now. The coast is clear. Arrow! I said you can come out now. The rider is gone. A waterlogged ear can no longer hear. That's what's happened, I truly fear. Hmm. Well, perhaps you're right, Mopoke. Now I'd better go in and get him. Better report this to the bus. Hmm. Curious? No sign of him. Arrow! 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 Are you back there? I feel so helpless. I, I just wish there was something I could do. I know how you feel, Boon Boon, but there's little we can do but offer encouragement and hope. There are no better diggers in the high country than wombats. Through my web and broke it. 
Oh, I only just finished repairs after another big dummy like yourself broke it earlier. Oh, that must have been Arrow. I'm looking for him. Sorry about the web. It's hard to see in the dark. Oh, that's cold comfort to me, matey. How's an honest spider supposed to catch a square meal with brumbies clopping around down here? Sorry again. I'll try to be more careful in the future. And by the way, since when did brumbies live underground anyway? <laughs> Such a relief to see you safe, your luxuriant lordship. Safe? And why shouldn't I be safe, Karawong? That earthquake, sire, I was afraid it might have shaken you off your rock and sent you crashing down. <laughs> it would take more than that to dislodge the mighty Brolger, Karawong. Oh, that's a relief, sire. Especially as the quake was partly my fault. Your fault? How could... Ah, uh, brainwave, sire. You see... I was flung about, and the vibrations of my giant intellect set off a chain reaction. Giant intellect. <laughs> it's true. I promise you. Just before I saw Thaura looking for Arrow in the cave behind the waterfall. What? <laughs> you stand there babbling about brainwaves when both claimants to my throne are bottled up in a cave. This is my chance to get rid of them once and for all. <laughs> That water, it must be the freshest and purest I've ever tasted. I can feel new energy coursing through my veins. How will I ever be able to describe the beauty of this wondrous place to the others? Father! Thara, you have just drunk from the pool of wisdom as I did before you, and your children will in years to come. Now that you have entered the cave, and drunk from the pool. There is no going back. Your destiny as king of the Cascade Brumbies has been set in motion. Yes, father. But Thaura, understand. Nothing is absolute. These things will only come to pass, providing you use your wisdom and courage wisely. Yes, father, I do understand. Father, don't go. There is so much I want to ask you. Use your wisdom and courage wisely. Yes, Father. I can't remember how to get back! Oh, there are 
too many passengers that it's all down and fault! Somewhere. Your days are numbered, Brolga. Huh? Your days are numbered, Brolga. What? You? But you're dead, Yaraman. Long gone. Your days are numbered, Brolga. or whatever you are to frighten me, Yaraman. And I'll be king of the Cascade Brumbies years after that weakling son of yours is a pile of bleaching bones. Arrow? Huh? And there he is. <laughs> Arrow! Here I am. Oh, 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 Sarah! Fancy meeting you here. Um, lost your way, have you? Lost my way? I, I thought you needed help, Arrow. Who, me? <laughs> Why, of course not. I was just testing my vocal cords. Then what are you doing here? Well, I, uh, I, uh, I just dropped in for a bit of cool air. It was getting too hot outside. Then you don't need my help to show you the way out, then. Oh, now, let's not be too hasty. I mean, I appreciate you've gone out of your way, and I don't want to spoil your fun. of Yaraman, those who would be king, caught like rats in a trap. Prepare to meet your father for the final roundup in the sky. Myself fallen through the air with a Brumby's head in the way. Typical. Wombat! Good on you! You're a legend! You okay, baby Wombat? Oh, no bones broken, I think. Yeah? Well, what about me? I've got a sore head. A sore head! Your sore head will be the least of our worries if we can't get out of here, Wombat! Trapped like rats forever! Doomed to a life of darkness with nothing but moss and frogs to eat! It's not fair! I'm not so sure. I think... I think I can feel a gentle flow of fresh air from over there. Oh. Yes. The air's getting fresher, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I think you're imagining things, Thara. I think we should be going back the other way. How about a little less natter? The air is getting fresher. Yeah, well, I don't think. Look, up ahead. Sunlight. Oh, you're safe. 
safe! You're safe! Look at this. Right back where we started. Hooray! Comes as no surprise to me. I knew it all along. I don't believe my eyes. We thought we'd lost you two wombats forever. And Thaura, how did you end up with them? It's a long story, Benny. Yeah, well, I led the Brolger underground, you see, to get him lost. Uh, the Brolger? So where is he now? Still back in the cave. Out cold. <laughs> oh, mighty master, where are you? Can you hear me? Mighty Brolger, answer me, it's your faithful Karawan come to save you. Over here, Karawan. Oh. Ah, ah, coming, sir. Oh. Here you are, dynamic, dynastic dinosaur. I've come to lead you out of the darkness. You can count on me. Oh, about time, Karawan. Lead the way. This way, sire! No, sire! This way! Uh. Yeah! Uh -oh. Did you hear something coughing and spluttering in the river? Oh, I do believe I did, eh? Definitely something in the river. A definite possibility. What do you suppose it was? Uh, a drowning fish, perhaps? Oh, look over there. Uh, are you OK, boss? <laughs> It's not a fish, Mew. It's the mighty Broger. Oh, king of the Cascade Brumbies. But he doesn't look much like a king today, Mew. No, not very kingly at all. Perhaps his days as king of the Cascade Brumbies are numbered, Mew. Oh, perhaps you're right, eh? His days could well be numbered. Who do you suppose could take over? Oh, uh, Thaur is a possibility. Yes, Thaur is a possibility, definitely. So the creatures of the high country came to fear and respect even more the awesome and unpredictable power of nature. While discovering an underground world they never knew existed. And Thara took heart from Yaraman's wise words as he moved one step closer to his ultimate destiny. <laughs>